It could soon be going to your child's education. A state senator is trying to pass a bill that would provide millions of dollars to offset a wrong student population estimate. 24 Hour News 8's State House Bureau Chief David Williams live in the newsroom now to explain. David. Well, good evening. State Senator Ryan Mishler's bill passed the State Senate Appropriations Committee this morning by a vote of 12 yes to zero no. Mishler says thousands more students than expected came into Indiana schools this year, which actually means less money spent per student. This bill, he says, fixes that gap. State Senator Ryan Mishler, who chairs the Senate Appropriations Committee, says the legislature estimated and planned for around 5,000 new students to come into Indiana's public schools this school year. In reality, he says the state got roughly 2,200 more new students than they planned for. This is the first time we've ever underestimated. Usually we overestimate. Mishler says Indianapolis Public Schools got an extra 1,200 students this school year. Fort Wayne Community Schools, 116 new students. Vigo County Schools actually lost 80 students, but Mishler says Evansville Vanderburg Schools saw 120 more students. So where are the young ones coming from? We're not sure. It could be um, just uh, many new kindergarten students, you know. Mishler claims if no legislative action is taken, Indiana schools are in trouble. Every school would have a reduction because we'd have less per student because we, you, you still spend $7.1 billion, you had 2,200 students, it's less per student. Mishler says if his bill is passed, it would give Indiana schools up to $25 million. Mishler says the budget agency would transfer the money from the state's tuition reserve fund to the Department of Education for Indiana's charter, traditional public, and choice program schools. This bill backfills that, so it takes the per pupil amount back up. Mitchler says he's hoping for smooth sailing for his bill during the session, saying no one's come to him who's against the proposal. State Rep. Sally Segrist's similar education funding bill, House Bill 1001, would transfer up to $75 million to public schools through fiscal year 2019. We're live in the newsroom tonight. David Williams, 24-Hour News 8.